Hi everyone. Welcome back to Vishy Anand vs the World Game. If you are new to the series, let me give you a quick recap. On the day one, Vishy Anand starting with the white pieces goes for 1 c4, the English opening. World replies with e5, King's English variation, Knight to c3, reverse Sicilian variation, Knight to f6, two knights variation, and Knight to f3, Knight to c6, four knights variation, g3, King side fi and jajor line, Bishop to b4. Bishop to g2, and world goes for castling. Knight to d5, e4, knight to h4, and this was the position we were having at the end of the day six. So here the best continuation for the world was to play d6, or rook to e8, or even bishop to c5. These were the three top choices, and the move world decided to continue was pushing the d pawn to d6. The top choice for Vishyanand to play is capturing this bishop. Knight takes on b4, or even to play b3. These are the two continuation to continue this game in a balanced position. But the move Vishyanand chose to play was to take the king to the castle, and this is a slight inaccuracy because after this move, world is having a small advantage of minus 0.5. Now here, the best continuation for world obviously is to play g5. In order to retain the advantage of minus 0.5, this is the only move world can play because once world plays g5, then the if you look at this knight, knight is running out of squares. This square is taken. This square is taken controlled by the bishop. This square is guarded by two pawns. So knight is officially running out of squares here. Let's see whether world will continue with the g5 idea and let's wait for the response of Vishyanand for this g5 as well. I will see you in the next day with more updates. Bye.